Hello everyone and welcome to 2021. Now, if you are like me, you may have noticed a lot of people in the year 2020 either had kidney issues, like kidney infections, or bladder infections, like UTIs. What's up with that? What is up with that? So much of that was happening last year, and you know, I can list you know, on almost all my fingers, somebody I personally knew who had those. And that is a lot more than I usually see in a one year period. So, um, and I don't have a lot of people coming to tell me they have uh, UTIs in a regular setting. So the fact that all of this was coming in my radar, I'm like, I wonder how much of this is going on. So, if you are one of those people and you want to avoid things like that in 2021, then there are a couple things we need to be aware of. Um, so if you're familiar with Louise Hay's work, she often talks about different parts of the body and different emotions that affect those parts of the body and cause them to become unstable. Okay, so a couple things you probably should know is that the bladder is the only organ in the body that is center, like center in the body. So most of your organs are off to one side or other. The bladder is right in the middle, you know, right along the straight line down. Okay, so any guesses of what could cause um, the bladder to become a little off balance? Anything that causes imbalance right it's right on the center what would cause swaying okay what causes your world to shake up okay there are quite a few but the main one I wanted to focus on the main emotion is nervousness okay nervousness does nervousness kind of throw you on edge um, did you suffer a UTI last year um, anyways or other bladder problems um, it's possible and with the kidneys Okay, so the kidneys are your lower back, lower back pain, anyone? Oh, um, your kidneys, right on top of your kidneys are your adrenal glands, uh, which release things like adrenaline when you're stressed. Fight or flight, think fight or flight. Okay, so um, that also affects the kidneys because it's right on top of the kidneys. And the main emotion that I noticed for 2020 um, that affected the kidneys negatively was fear, okay? Did any one of us experience any sort of fear last year with relatives passing away, with um, things not going the way we planned, cancellations, fear of the unknown, what's happening, do we even know the nature of what's going on? Um, so did any of you deal with any of that? Lower back stuff, um, kidneys, all of that. All right, so going with that, I wanted to talk about how we can empower ourselves emotionally so that we feel supported emotionally so it doesn't deplete those areas of our body. Can we talk about that for a minute? Okay, so first let's talk about the bladder. Okay, what can help us center the bladder so that we don't feel super nervous here and there? I'm gonna talk about a couple of them. How about the essential oil for centering. Okay, doTERRA has a couple really great ones for centering. Uh, one of them is vetiver essential oil, and one of them is Align. It's a yoga blend. It's a centering blend, it's called. Um, so both of those are great for centering. And what you can do is you can, um, my favorite place to put vetiver is actually on my earlobes. Um, but you can put it over the bladder, right where your bladder is. Um, so you can do it there. Um, I would probably do a line there, either that or on my spine, my lower back spine. That way it will kind of get to all those areas in the root chakra area. Okay, we want to center that. Okay, we want to feel centered, grounded, balanced.
doTERRA does sell these veggie caps. They're pretty cheap. Um, and I'm just going to grab one and I'm going to show you how it's done. And you're going to probably want to do this every few hours, depending on how bad your symptoms are. Um, and like I said, if, if at any point you just feel like you need to get an antibiotic or something, don't, don't, don't ignore your gut instinct. But if your body's saying, hey, <laughs> let me try something natural first and see if it doesn't kick it. Okay, so I just put On Guard in. I'm putting Melaleuca tea tree oil in. Just a couple drops of each. The next one is frankincense. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, if you only have frankincense and oregano, go with that. Oregano is the last one. So I did two drops of each. On Guard, tea tree, frankincense, and now oregano. Try not to get oregano on the sides of the capsule because it's got a really, really hot flavor. And you probably won't like the taste of it. Okay, so I only filled up like half. That's fine. You don't have to fill it up all the way. Just take it like a pill. In fact, I have a story about this. When I was, um, just after I had my second child, I found I had a UTI. And it was a bad one. It was like, it caused so much pain and all the worst symptoms possible. It was so bad. I couldn't even pee without feeling like I was going to die. So, um, prior to this experience, the last time I'd had a UTI, I went the antibiotic route and ended up getting um, an ulcer from those medications. Took the ulcer medications, ended up having a cyst in my ovaries. And I was like, wait, like one, like I've been taking medications constantly to try to get rid of this first problem. Now I'm taking this medication to deal with that, the symptoms of that medication. I'm like, I don't need any side effects. I don't want the side effect route. So when the second time right after my second daughter was born, I was like, I don't want to take an antibiotic while I'm nursing her, trying to give her good gut health. What do I do? So I happened to have just recently, like within weeks, just got my first doTERRA essential oils and I got a basic kit and, um, it, it was like a basic top 10. I had in there melaleuca, tea tree, oregano, and on guard. And I started making those capsules and I, because I looked up in a book, I'm like, these are supposedly supposed to help. So I put them together and I started taking those doTERRA only. Okay. I wouldn't do any other brand. I'm only, t uh, but I did that and I did that for about 12 days and the symptoms completely went away by then. And not only that, but my gut was healthier than it had ever been in my entire life, as far as I can remember. It went from being sick to feeling like I had so much more energy, so much more capacity. And I have never felt that way after doing an antibiotic. <laughs> I've never felt more energy. I've always felt like now I'm at ground zero. I have to work my way up. But the essential oils didn't do that to me. It gave me life back. And so um, that's another reason I like going to the oils first where possible. So if you're like me and you like going to the all natural route first and seeing if that works for you, definitely feel free to do that. Um, and for 2021, be empowered. Don't be caught off guard by the fear and the nervousness. Really get in control and do that with these. And the last couple oils I want to talk about just briefly is um, the essential oil forgive blend from doTERRA and the single oil lemongrass. Okay. Lemongrass is an emotional cleanser. So if you're like, I don't know what's going on, but emotionally, I'm just not feeling good. Um, take a drop of lemongrass. It smells really good guys. Like it smells like to me, like fruit loops, but it's an essential oil. So it's actually good for you. Um, okay. And just breathe it in. And do that and just let it sit on your hands for a while. If you do get it on your face or something, put a little bit of coconut oil or something to dilute it so it's not so hot because it, it can be a little irritating on the skin, but the hands are just fine. Hands and feet are fine. Um, so do that or another one. The other one, forgive. Forgive helps you just let go. So lemongrass is the emotional cleanser. It's a great one to diffuse too for the mood too. And then there's forgive and forgive just helps 
let go. Forgive the past. Forgive what happened to you. Forgive the betrayal. Forgive whatever it is. Forgiveness is empowering and it frees up your energy to be calm and relaxed. So um, take some forgive. You can do the same thing I did with lemongrass. Just put it on your hands and breathe it in. Um, you can put it on your kidneys too, on your bladder. I'm going to put it right here in my bladder area, right just on my stomach. Um, any of those are great. So don't be caught off guard with 2021. If it's just as crazy as 2020, be prepared. Get your kidneys and your a bladder in order, know what you have, know how to use them so that you can combat all the stresses that are coming this year. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.